Hi, today I'm reviewing the RNW Renew Facial Treatment Essence. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, I purchased most things with my own money, but the other day, uh, Elias sent me a giant box of products to try. So I'm just amazed. So anyway, so I, I don't take anything from the brand. So, okay. So, they call this an essence toner that helps to strengthen skin while restoring its natural elasticity and radiance. Formulated with three ferment ingredients and 100% fermented water to nourish and keep skin barrier healthy uh, and moisturized. Dermologically tested, which means nothing. It means somebody tested it. it whatever. It doesn't mean anything. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. So, and R&W, I kept trying to figure out what does R&W stand for? And they say it stands for renew your skin. So, R&W, renew which is also in the title of the product. So, okay. Uh, my first criteria is packaging. No real issues with the packaging. I mean, there's, um, yeah, I mean, it's a clear bottle. It's got a lot of, it's got like the full measurement down there. I guess if you have somebody that's stealing your products, you can look and see, oh, there's 60 milliliters left. Cameraman stole 20 milliliters last night or something like that. I don't know. It's got all the numbers on it. That's all. So no issues with the packaging. It's plastic. So there we go. Uh, in terms of denature, drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free and has no real noticeable scent to it, which is wonderful for sensitive skin or sensitive noses or eyes. Uh, the manufacturing location for this one is uh, Korea, so no issues with that. Uh, so ease of use after cleansing, wet cotton pad and smooth over your skin. You can also pat it onto your face if you prefer uh, really liquidy texture to it liquidy but it still feels nicely moisturizing and the skin absorbs pretty quickly uh sets to a natural non-sticky non-tacky finish so uh personally i've been using this with a cotton pad i haven't really padded on my skin i to be honest i call this more of like a toner in my like how i define a toner in essence i typically think it was a little bit thicker a little more vis viscous 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 and like something that's easier to pat on a skin when it's so watery and it absorbs so quickly, I find it's a little bit harder to pat on a skin, but you can still do that. So, um, okay, so no other issues, very easy to use. Um, and you can use it morning and evening after cleansing. So, okay, beneficial ingredients in this one. So we've got lactobacillus ferment, a, actually a soothing ingredient. It's a probiotic ingredient. It shows uh, that it might have some promise uh, estee lauder's done a lot more research on this and they they think this ferment helps with dna repair and also potentially helps skin fight against uh, environmental stressors pollution things like that okay then we've got saccharomyces ferment filtrate liquidy ferment uh made with yeast uh let's see the manufacturer says it's great at a good source of essential minerals, amino acids, beta-glucan, and vitamins. Um, also great for hydrating your skin and soothing your skin and potentially has some brightening and wrinkle repairing uh, benefits as well. Then we've got Trello's, which is a humectant, uh, a sugar-based humectant. Then we've got Panthenol, vitamin B5 skin soothing ingredient, as well as a humectant. Then we've got Bifida Ferment Lysate. Bifida Ferment is a probiotic ingredient Another one that Estee Lauder's done a lot of research on shows that it uh, potentially protects against UV damage in the skin and also helps with DNA repair and helps with barrier function as well as skin sensitivity. Then we've got betaine, moisturizing humectant ingredient, and then sodium hyaluronic, which is a humectant. Um, in terms of animal testing, this brand appears to be cruelty-free from what I can see on the sites that sell this brand. Uh, performance. So this one's a nice one. It's a nice toner. It's easy to use. Um, it's not offensive in any way. It's just not exciting. It's not game-changing. Um, I'm interested. I think Heather, I think she was trying this one too, so I'm kind of interested in what she thinks. But, I mean, it's a decent product. It just it didn't rank up there for me in terms of other toners or essences I've used, like the I'm From Rice toner, or the Claire Supple Preparation toner, or the Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. It doesn't rank up there as game-changing. It's good, it's reliable, it's non-offensive, but it's just not a must-have. I'll definitely finish it, but 
it's not a must have it's not a repurchase i don't put it up there with some of those other ones but nice thing is in terms of um acneogenic or acne prone skin there's only one ingredient of note and that is carbomer so that makes it very friendly it's got a pretty short ingredient list so um okay in terms of the price so this is a full size 140 milliliters 4.7 ounces retails for about 30 dollars it's a little pricey um Although a lot of tone, you know, like some, like the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner, I think that one retails around 50, four, not 40. I think it retails around like 15, 16 dollars. So this one's almost double that price, but it's just not a must have. The Claire Supple Preparation Toner is pretty affordable. So, I mean, it's not, it's not expensive, but it's not cheap or affordable. Unless you get on sale, of course. Um, in terms of the it factor, again, it's a decent toner. It works well in my morning and evening routines. I love that it's fragrance free. It's reliable. Obviously, I've been enjoying it because I'm almost finished with it. So that says something, especially when I have so many friggin' toners um, already. But um, it's not a must have. I wouldn't hesitate again to use it in the future, but it's not something where it's like, oh, I want to spend thirty dollars because I find this does that much for my skin. It didn't irritate my skin. It didn't irritate my nose. It didn't cause sensitivity. It just wasn't a game changer or a must have. So um, maybe for some others it is, but um, compared to their ceramide concentrate ampule, that is a wonderful, that is an amazing purchase. That is a game changer. This one, not so much, but still not a bad product overall. So with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one an eight. It's decent. It's good. Just not a 10 like amazing superstar, but still a good product. So um, anyway, interest hearing from you guys, if you've had a chance to try this, uh, and if you have what your thoughts are, so leave a comment, love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. All right.